Hey guys, what's up? It's Patriot Panda, and today I have a great review for Exploit Gamecaster, which is a fabulous software if you would like to live stream or record your gameplay. Um, and I definitely think it's what I will be using from this point on. So anyway, let's get right into the review. Um, when you get started, this is get started in three easy steps. You can um, open up the console viewer, which I will do in a minute. Um, then I'll actually sh go over all this. And if you're still confused after this video, um, you can watch these tutorials and frequently asked questions. Uh, I'm going to open console viewer, and while this is opening up, I will say that I am uh, sponsored to do this video, but I'm not paid to make it good, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm not paid to say good things about this software. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much what it is. I just uh, I just got sponsored to do this. There's, there's me. I do have a, a chroma key logged in. This is what the console viewer would look like. Uh, I currently do not have my uh, uh, Xbox on. But you know this is this is what the green screen looks like. Uh, this is what it would look like if you were streaming. And then let's go ahead and hit Control Tab. Um, this is your dashboard if you would like to call it. You can hit Stream to stream. You can hit Record obviously to record. Help if you're confused. Um, mute your microphone or lower or raise the volume. Lower or raise the system sound, which is the game, or um, mute it. Um, hide webcam or show webcam. Um, open Twitch panel, which is pretty cool because it'll sh actually show your chat right here. So you can just have it right here, and um, you don't have to have uh, anything. You don't have to like s say you're going on one uh, one uh, monitor, and you don't want to sw switch looking at monitors. So you can just pull that up. Uh, post your live stream. Um, post your live stream URL on Twitter, Facebook, or Google. So it's pretty much it will just tweet out or Facebook, or it'll share your stream link to uh, all your social media. Um, add an image, this is the overlay, so you can uh, edit your overlay. And uh, I had this done by a good friend on Twitter. I'll link his Twitter in the description. Make sure you go give him a follow. Um, and then this is also uh, a uh, little telestrator um, that, you know, if you watch sports, you'll see a bunch of uh, the commentators use these, uh, so that that I don't know why they have that, but um, you know that's that's there, so that's a good, uh, it's a good feature, I guess. Um, anyway, let's get out of the console viewer. Let's move over to the accounts page. You can link your Twitch, um, or Hitbox, uh, YouTube Live, UStream, Daily Motion, Nikon Eco. I've not heard of that one, and Custom RTMP. So you can do this with multiple uh, different uh, services, and then upload your videos to YouTube you can have you can authorize your uh, uh, YouTube channel so if you just want to record gameplay you can just post it there social networks um, these are all your social networks Facebook Twitter Google if you want to post on those you can do that settings um, stream settings you can do you can control the, the the HD the quality of the video I should say um, so right now it's on automatic but I'll probably put it up to 720p uh, which is what I recommend personally for streaming um, recording settings so that's also if you want to record uh, microphone you can I'm gonna use my uh, blue Yeti so that's for me webcam um, you would just put in your webcam and then if you have your chroma key you would go here and hit enable disable or enable um, then you would do the which color and then threshold threshold is kind of um, obviously as, if it gets higher it, it makes it uh, blurry I guess so as you can see there, it looks pretty perfect actually. Uh, let's move it down. Let's try. Let's try say 26. Uh, 26 would probably be a good one. Let's try that. Yeah, that looks that looks really good. Um, then I don't know what this does. Uh, status label. It says select the in-game position and content of the status label. You can. Oh, okay, okay. So this is um. Uh, frames per second. So if you want your frames uh, per second in the bottom left or bottom right, or you can do it for CPU load. CP, CPU load. See uh, how much it's wearing on your CPU. CPU can't speak. I guess um, th these are hotkeys. Hotkeys are basically you press a button and it does an action. Um, so status label would be uh, you know you can change the location. So I guess it would kind of just like scroll through, but you can um, do this and just hit uh, D. So whenever you press D, it'll uh, 
um, start the uh, start your stream. Um, run ad. That would be for uh, if you're a Twitch partner, it will actually run an ad literally. <laughs> um, and yeah, so camera show and hide. It's basically all these at the push of a button. Um, all your settings and stuff. But I really my favorite one would probably be run ad. Because um, if you're a Twitch partner, you're just, um, you don't want to like go through the settings and uh, run an ad. You can just press a button and it'll do it. So um, yeah, and then recordings is your list of recordings that you have. And uh, let's go back to the start menu. And let's uh, let's open up this console viewer again. Um, oh, getting uh, getting pop ups. All right. So as you can see, I do have my Ogato plugged in. Let's open up our toolbar once it gets all the way loaded in. But yeah, anyway, back to um, my sponsorship, how I actually got uh, this program for free. Um, it's through a multi-channel network called Freedom. Um, I will leave a link in the description to where you can. Uh, if you are a YouTuber, you can get partnered with them. Uh, it's really easy. I think they have a really high success rate. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really, really simple. Uh, it's you can get multiple multiple sponsorships and get paid for YouTube videos um, so I actually did get this for free through freedom uh, and that's basically that's basically why freedom hooked me up with XSplit to make this video with you guys so um, yeah this basically the over overly uh, overlay um, over it all um, and now let's kind of say how I feel about it um, I would probably rate this about an 8 out of 10 uh, probably one of the main reasons is because of the green screen. The chroma key feature, it looks a lot better um, than it does on OBS. I don't know why, um, but it's just, it, it looks a lot better than um, open broadcaster software. But the only downside I would have to say about this service or uh, software, or whatever you would like to call it, is that it is a paid subscription. It's not free. You have to um, subscribe to it, I guess. Um, and it's a little pricey actually it's uh i think for a year's service it's like a hundred dollars so i mean that's but i mean you're paying for quality so it's a lot it's a lot better to work around but um you know it's i i would i like it i think i might use it a lot more um over obs only because it's just it's a lot smoother and a lot more professional so i don't know i i, I personally i like this program a lot um, and then basically, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I went over everything. Um, you can have a bunch of different languages. What type of language? I guess that's Russian. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning into the video. Just a quick over review, um, over XSplit. And I will be streaming using this software. So if you would like to see it in action, come check it out over on my Twitch, what I will have in the description. Anyway guys, thank you for stopping by. I'll see all of you guys in the next video.